Tiana, thanks. Now to a follow-up on a story that Western Mass News has been tracking closely. Chicopee High School is proposing a first-of-its-kind system that would lock up students' cell phones during the day. And tonight, the public is urged to weigh in. Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli joins us live in Chicopee now with more. Matt. Chris and Jordan, the Chicopee School Committee is set to meet at 7 p.m. to discuss the proposal that has students and teachers buzzing. If passed, Chicopee High would be the first school in Western Mass to implement this technology. The kids' faces is in these cell phones all day long and they're not, you know, learning the way they need to learn. There are plenty of things that need to be done to raise test scores, but it has nothing to do with the phones. Many parents are divided in Chicopee over a plan to eliminate cell phone distractions in the classroom. With the help of a California-based tech company called Yonder, Chicopee High School is proposing a system where students' cell phones would be locked up in magnetic pouches throughout the school day. So all I have to do is physically touch the pouch on the unlocking mechanism to unlock it. It's pretty simple and quick. We sat down with Graham Dagoni, the founder of Yonder, to talk about the need for this kind of product. I think parents have become more aware of watching their kids through the pandemic on social media and screens all the time, and I think a lot of them come to us looking for a solution. Wednesday night, the Chicopee School Committee will meet to decide whether or not the proposal moves forward. I think I'm going to support the policy change to allow the pilot program to move forward. Tim Wagner of the Chicopee School Committee tells Western Mass News currently cell phone use is allowed at lunch, but that policy could be overturned in favor of the Yonder proposal. I personally think at this point uh, it's necessary. Um, the cell phone bags at this point, we really have no other alternative. If passed, a trial program would begin this March and run through the next school year. The cost, upwards of $15,000, would be covered with federal school funds. But not everyone is on board. It's going to be a little challenging for a bit. And do I think it's going to pass for how long she wants it to? No. We've been asking viewers to weigh in. 61% of you said yes, lock up the phones. 37% said no, and 2% of you said not sure. Once again, if passed, Chicopee High would be the first school to use Yonder here in Western Mass. That school committee meeting is set to begin at 7 p.m., and the public is encouraged to speak out. Coming up later at 6, we'll have more reaction from students and one school committee member on phone use at the school, so stick with us. Live in Chicopee, Matt Satilli, Western Mass News.